the last piece is missing because like I said, is this is supposed to be a mobile application. So it's like, how do I take this view application and push it over to mobile? I'm gonna to try to do this here in the terminal. And so since we started this up with the capacitor flag on it, it, it set up our configuration and everything that we need here. So our capacitor config is set up. So we, there's a series of commands that we can run to get it going. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna build everything. So npm run build. So it's packaged at all. And then now NP Ionic Cap Sync iOS. So it's basically adding all the iOS specific stuff that needs to be added. You can see it's creating an Ionic an iOS project. This is a real kind of Xcode project that is created here for you. It synced all of the web part of it because remember capacitor is a container for a web application. So that sync is all done and now here's how you can run it. So Ionic cap run iOS. You pick your device and let it go. All right, so here's our app. Since we're still connected to the same database, let's see, we get our history, load it back up. I don't like liver. So it's working. Back to the history, and you can see here's the history and no problem, I don't like liver. I'm gonna wrap it here. Hopefully you can walk through this, take a look at the code and see the value of, of integrating Convex with UJS or React or whatever your platform is. The other compelling thing is you can see how easy it is to create a, a, a mobile application that supports real-time interaction leveraging Convex. You saw Convex allowed me to create the functions that can be executed. You saw Convex allows me to create this real-time database. You saw the um, API, not the API tools, but the UI that Convex provides for you. There's a lot of stuff there. I have a couple other Convex videos that I'll add links to in the bottom, 